He's got two arms that he can try to break my arm with. Right? So when I step up, he underhooks my leg and he dumps me down. Here. Bam. Right? He's got a top arm. What I what I what I delineate top arm body is the arm that's closest to my head is his top arm. If he switches arms or ends up in the opposite arm position at any point. Now this is his bottom arm. He's pointing from my nuts to my head. Okay? The arm closest to my feet is his, uh, his bottom arm. I am a big advocate of going top to bottom, meaning he uses the top arm, his hand is pointing towards my feet. Okay, that leaves that bottom arm free to hook my leg. So if at any point I try to sit up, even if I get him down to his shoulder, I can't turn my hips over. Does that make sense? Even if he doesn't hook my leg and he just puts his hand on the ground, right? It can be real quick, he doesn't have to do a lot, and then he can go back to fighting my arms. Okay, if he ends up armbarring with the other arm, he no longer has that pose. All right, so if I chop down and I switch, he can't stop. Does that make sense? So if his arms are top to bottom, the way we want to be, where his top arm is hooking, and he can put his hand on the ground, I can't go that way anymore. That means I have to put his other shoulder on the ground. Right? So as soon as he lets go of my leg, I know that I still can't go that direction, but now I can use that leg. So instead of trying to chop my legs and put them on the ground, I'm gonna get, as soon as his hand hits, I'm gonna put my feet on the ground, and I'm gonna bridge, putting his opposite shoulder on the ground. I post my hand, and I pull him back up. Step up again. Right, now he's gonna underhook my leg again. Right, dump me down. Right, I'm gonna try to sit up. As soon as that hand comes out, I'm gonna bridge again. Step up, fall, and we're back again. All right, this one puts more pressure on your neck. I'm just warning you. You're going to have to do those neck exercises. Oh, okay. Make sense? So as soon as they let go of your leg, I'm going to try to bridge. All right? There's a transition point here. When I go for my sweep, right, and I dump them over, I'm holding on to the far leg. I have to switch from the far leg to the near leg in order to control as effectively. I can hold on to that other one, but now his hips are turned towards me and he's gonna have an easier time trying to get this elbow to the ground. So by grabbing the near leg, I've got better control of his hips, but there's a second between those legs where if I let go, he can bridge, put my, bridge, and put my shoulder to the ground, he turns his hips over, and now I'm trying to sweep him. Does that make sense? Questions? So instead of chopping the legs and doing the sit-up this time, we're gonna bridge over the other shoulder. So I get underneath, boom, I dump him over, right? I switch to the other leg, he's gonna bridge, put my shoulders on the ground, flip his hips, right? I'm keeping that bite, keeping that turn, he steps up to keep himself from getting swept, come underneath, and we get in this dance again. Yes? Question? What do you think?